Hi Capricorn! Welcome to your February video. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're not sure which one to watch for this reading, there's a link in the description box below that'll connect you to a video that'll kind of help you to explain what to watch for what. Um, so in this general reading, we are going to look at the overall energy for the month, the kind of vibes you're putting out, the challenges that you'll face, and then give you a specific goal or task to work on. My kitten is going crazy over here. My apologies for the wiggly background. Um, and then we're going to look specifically, <laughs> we're going to look specifically at areas of career, finance, and work, um, your love life, whether you're single or coupled. And then we are also going to look at your personal development and growth. For those of you who aren't aware, um, cause you don't follow me on social media or whatever, I am super obsessed with crystals. So I'm also going to give you a crystal energy that you could use for the month of February to help you get through it. And let's just get started. So, Capricorn, what do we have? What does your month look like for you overall? And the doorbell just rang. I'll be right back. Sorry, I'm back now. Okay. So, <laughs> in general, for Capricorn, um, you might not be feeling super enthused to start new activities, which is fine if you watched that Cancer New Moon video or the Cancer Moon video and you got shit moving and going forward leading up to February 1st. Uh, if not, though, how will that affect you? Well, it'll maybe just make you feel like, ah, uh, I don't want to go within. I don't want to, like, sort this out. So generally, what other kind of vibes are we dealing with in the month of February? You just may not feel like you're on the right path, like things aren't working out for your highest good. Um, but if you get a new idea about something, like a new creative idea, follow that because that will lead you to bliss and sunshine and happiness. Um, but if you're not putting in the effort or the enthusiasm, like if you're just casting those to the side, then your month not, might not feel very positive. But you have to understand that the way the cards are presenting, that it's a choice, okay? So you get to decide what your February looks like. What kind of challenges are you going to face overall in the month of February and they're saying taking the knowledge that you have and making changes to move towards um, more positive and balanced, like, lifestyle, you know? They're saying you're, you're challenged because on the one hand, you don't want to feel your feelings. On the other hand, you feel like you can't avoid them. And so you're really challenged to embrace this empress type of uh, energy believing in yourself, you know, like your, your solar plexus chakra. You want to try to illuminate this that this month so that you feel um, empowered to take any of these new ideas you have because it seems like you know that something needs to change in your life and some Capricorns are going to go, mm, don't really feel like dealing with it and um, a smaller amount of you are going to say, you know what, I am going to get excited about this and I'm going to believe in myself and I'm going to do it. But the majority of us, um, it would be important to watch this video so that you understand that it is a decision and that you can decide to feel empowered and to take those actions because they will pay off for you in the month of February, okay? What kind of vibes are you putting out there in general? And there, um, it's like a vibe of lack, you know? Like, I don't have enough. Um, I don't have enough love. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough energy. I don't have enough enthusiasm. I don't have enough money you know, that kind of a thing. So that's something that you're going to want to try to shift. So your overall goal in the month of uh, February, nonstop distractions, I'm sorry, your overall goal, and that might be how you're feeling too <laughs> in the month of February. It's like all of these distractions coming in to like kind of keep you from um, taking advantage of whatever kind of spiritual guidance that you're getting in regards to like actions you should take. Um, and so it's just kind of like this feeling of emptiness, uh, lack of drive, lack of will. Um, and it's easy. It's, it's easier to live in that energy, you know. Anyway, so it's saying assessing your relationships. 
So um, this is more not necessarily a relationship with people, although it could be. Um, it's more about like your relationship to different energies surrounding you. Like your relationship to yourself, to your higher self, to your relationship with spirit, your relationship with um, the energy of money too, you know, like if that's what you're feeling disconnected or lacking. Uh, it wa they want you to really look at the relationships in your life and figure out where are the stressors? Like what are the relationships that are causing me stress? And can I change it? Number one. If I can't change it, can I move on from it? And that was one of your challenges with the Six of Swords there, um, saying, you know, I have to decide that this is what I want and then take those steps. Celebrate the relationships in your life that are good, but the rest of them, maybe just kind of um, cast those to the side and move on from them. Take a break from them in the month of February uh, in order to feel more positive and to kind of get back on the right track because maybe you're slipping. Now, let's look specifically at work, career, and finances. What does it look like overall for you in February? Um, you might be feeling like you're in a situation that you can't break free of, except for the thing is you can, okay? And it's a, it's a situation that makes you feel um, like it has its positive qualities. Maybe you used to be excited about it. Maybe you still are in certain ways, but maybe you're focused more on the negative aspects of it than the positive ones. And um, the thing is, is not in this deck, you can't see it. But I want to show you from the Rider weight deck, the more traditional deck that people use, what this card looks like so you get an understanding of the energy it's presenting. Okay, so the devil card here. You see how these two people, they feel tied to something and it has its rewards, okay? There's something exciting about it with all of this fire, right? But the chains around their neck, um, they believe that they are stuck here. They believe that they're tied to like something toxic or negative, but they don't realize um, they're bigger than their head. They could just pull that chain right off of the top of their head and walk away from it. Walk away from that negativity. But it's like you're just choosing this mindset that like, no, I'm trapped. Like nothing's going to work. Like I'm just stuck here. I'm just going to live in this lack and I'm going to wallow in it. That's a decision. You don't have to choose that. But it, I agree with you that the energy makes it difficult to find the enthusiasm and excitement to move past it. You might have gotten comfortable in your wallowing, yeah? Okay, so um, what kind of challenges are you going to face? And they say finding that emotional balance because, you know, the energy is just kind of like, um, it sucks, like I'm stuck here, like things aren't right, my emotions aren't right, my brain chemistry is not right. And so you're blocking yourself from receiving all of these blessings that the universe is trying to give you because you're stuck with your vibration down here as opposed to way up here. When your vibration is up here, when you're radiating this energy of love and happiness and enthusiasm, things come to you easy. But it's like when you're down here, the universe is still trying to help you out. Your spirit guides, your angels, everybody trying to give you something and you're like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm going to just choose to sit here and be sad. So that's your challenge is to tear down that bullshit so you can start receiving and so you can feel good about where you're at again. Now, the overall goal or area of focus in regards to career and finance is transforming those worrisome thoughts. Hmm, nothing's coincidence, right? Now, this is a heart chakra color, opening up our heart chakra to be open and willing to receive, to understand that we deserve what it is that we're asking for, okay? Now, we have all of this fear color here, all of this sacral chakra energy, and it's saying, you know, blow bubbles. <laughs> and, and, and so the way that um, I personally do this is like, Take a deep breath in, allow light to come through, and when it gets stuck, like I imagine it kind of like enveloping something negative, and then I just blow it out in the form of like a black or gray bubble, like all that negative energy out of my body, and then fill that space back up with white love um, and light energy from spirit, okay? So your goal is observe what is worrying you. What is troubling you? Like, what the fuck are these blocks? And then eliminate them. Because if you get rid of that negative emotion and you're vibrating higher, all of a sudden you're going to start seeing things and you're going to be more inclined to co-create your reality too, to take advantage of the situations that are um, coming about for you, to find your passion again. Okay, so moving on to your love life. 
if you are a Capricorn single, what does it look like in general for you? And they're saying new love could be coming in and coming in fast. Now, this might be the kind of um, passionate encounter that comes and goes really quickly. But what they're saying is, um, you know, if it is just like a lustful thing and you're okay with that, that's fine. You might not feel like a deep emotional connection to them. You might not feel like this is your soulmate. But if you're comfortable with that, um, you could totally embrace that energy. Now, the challenges that you'd be facing are um, really kind of because we're wallowing to put uh, like our hopes out there, to try to manifest a relationship that is good, that's balanced, that's peaceful, um, that is something that we actually desire, okay? Um, because this is like more carnal energy that's coming in for you. Now, what kind of vibes are you putting out? But you're putting out the vibe that you're confident and that you're sexy though, which is why you're attracting somebody confident and sexy even though they might not be long lasting. Um, the overall goal for you in regards to relationships and trying to attract love for Capricorn singles is to pay attention to your body. And um, it, more so than to paying attention to your body, like paying attention to that throat chakra with all of this blue here um, and being cognizant of what you're speaking in regards to how you feel with all this water energy. It's saying pay attention to your body in every way, but then also like recognize your psychological stressors, your emotional stressors and stuff. Like how does that affect your body? Like if we're choosing to be in a negative energy, if we're like choosing to be hopeless and things like that, because our hope energy is definitely a challenge for us this month. Um, how does that play out for you? Does it make you more tired? Does it make you fatigued? Does it make you irritable? And then change that. Like you can speak into reality um, your sentiment or your state of being, your feeling, your mindset. Okay, so positive affirmations if you're a Capricorn who's looking for longer lasting love. Now for those of you who are coupled, what I see for your month in general in uh, February, um, you know exactly what you need to know about your love life and your situation. Hmm, what kind of challenges are you facing? Um, creating new routines with your partner, um, working just like day-to-day -day challenges, like who unloads the dishwasher, like who puts the laundry away, that kind of a thing. The vibes that you're putting out is that um, you're not necessarily comfortable with the situation, which is why it's a challenge to establish a new routine or a new way of doing things with your partner. And the overall goal for you in your love life situation is to surrender to divine energy. Um, again, opening up that heart chakra, Capricorn. Um, what are your fears? You know, you need to surrender those fears, trust in the divine, um, especially if you're in a gay relationship, which I know that sounds cheesy because there's a rainbow there, but I was thinking that before I pulled the card. Um, so it's not like as literal as the card says, but it's, um, it's talking about like, what they want you to do is to say, you know, I'm surrendering all of my fear and stuff to the universe and I'm asking that it be transmuted into something more positive and affirmed and that I can trust that the universe is bringing me what I want. It's encouraging you to open up your arms to receive uh, that which they're trying to give you. Now, some of you might feel like um, religiously your prayers don't work because, you know, like, it's a sin to be gay or something fucking ridiculous like that. And they're like, no, spirit hears you and they want to help you. So open your arms to receive. Now for the rest of you in um, straight relationships, it's saying, you know, still though the message is there, asking the universe for what you want and eliminating fear from your um, aura, from your soul. Because spirit is trying to give you something either way. And so you just got to... You got to be open to receive it though, okay? That's the issue. Um, and it's kind of the issue for everything in your life in the month of February. Looking at your personal growth and development, what's going on? You just don't want to deal with it. But honestly, by the time you get to the end of February, you're going to be forced to. You're going to have to look at these truths. You're going to have to speak, um, speak your truth, that kind of a thing. Like you're going to have to be really honest with yourself. The challenges that you're going to face in regards to your personal development are to um, give and receive in balanced ways. So maybe that's part of the reason why you're feeling the way that you feel, because you're giving so much and you don't feel like you're getting back in return and it's making you feel defensive and it's making you feel like shit. So how do you fix that? They say by shifting your perspective, um, 
Because maybe you're giving a lot of your energy, but you're not doing it with love. And so therefore you're not receiving loving energies in return. You're just receiving the bare minimum, like a more negative vibration kind of an energy. So looking at your goal, it's saying recognize your first thoughts. So, you know, like whatever you see, on the, you're walking down the street, okay? And you see somebody walking towards you. Is your first thought like, something positive about a person or is it something negative about a person so you recognize that first thought and then you're like okay do I need to shift that but then it's also about your intuition okay um oh and I just want to point out you see how this person okay it's a fear energy red hair um the the fear chakra color the orange for your sacral sacral chakra look at her body language her arms are crossed and her legs are crossed saying I'm shut off I'm shut off because of fear. I'm not open to receive things because I'm afraid. Recognize what the fuck that is and release it. Um, but then it's also talking about, you know, recognizing your first thought, trusting your gut instincts and your intuition, but noticing the difference between your gut instinct and your intuition, because that's where those awesome ideas are coming from, that decision that you could make to better your life versus um, the first mental ego-driven thought with the orange chakra about, you know, like judgment. You know, like, oh, it looks shitty outside. I'm not going to go outside today. Um, you know, like that kind of a thing. Like, where is all this coming from? Like, your first thought, is it negative or positive? Try to make a positive thought to replace the negative one so you can start vibrating a little higher and then uncross your legs, uncross your arms to receive all the stuff that Spirit's trying to give you. So... That leads us to our crystal. And um, I pulled the crystals before I did the reading. And now it totally makes sense why you have this. Um, so for certain signs, they have certain formations that are necessary. Like Libra has the smoky quartz like in a wand kind of formation. And that's important for them because they need to learn how to direct their energy. Um, but for you, a smoky quartz in any formation would be good. So whether you opt to get like a little cluster or you get like a scepter type deal, doesn't matter. But a smoky quartz is going to be very, very helpful for you. What does the smoky quartz do? Um, there's many things that it does, but why this correlates to your reading is that it takes your negative thoughts, it absorbs them into the stone, and then it transmutes them and changes them into positive thoughts. It helps you to feel more positive. It helps you to feel protected, to feel, um, it's a very spiritual stone. So it helps you to feel like the comfort of your guardian angels around you and things like that. It helps you to kind of like be lifted up, gets rid of your fear, which is definitely your problem in the month of February. So you can go to your local rock store, maybe you already have a crystal. Um, if you're not sure how to use it, I have a crystals playlist on my channel here. Um, I don't believe that every single crystal video I ever made for Patreon is on there yet. Uh, but there's a few, I think there's two of them on there. So that'll give you some ideas on how to use it. Um, you could watch all sorts of videos or just read essays and stuff. Um, but if you'd like either one of these specific crystals, those are available on my website. And then they come with um, the full set of videos on how to use crystals. And then also like a full printout or guide as to like which angels um, you can call on in regards to these crystals, like which ones they represent. And then, um, you know, what are their spiritual uses? What are their emotional uses? Their physical uses? Like that kind of a thing. No pressure there. But um, get yourself a smoky quartz if you're into crystals. Some people like to put them in their bra. Some people make crystal grids. Blah, blah, blah. But you should find that this will really help you to feel supported and to kind of become more positive and therefore take the actions to, um, you know, find your enthusiasm again and get back on the right track. All right. Love and light. And I will see you for your love readings in a couple weeks.